Hey guys, it's Kyle Bennett with HardOCP.com and today what we're doing is we're breaking down our GTX 1080 Ti video card from NVIDIA to uh, put a Fantex uh, G1080 cooler, water cooler on it. And uh, so in order for us to do that, we of course have to remove everything that's on the card right now. So I thought we'd do a quick video that shows that. And uh, what you need is, you're gonna need a really small Phillips head screwdriver and you're gonna need a H4 socket wrench, but the Fantex unit, or H4 hex head socket wrench, the Fantex unit actually sends this with it, so that's cool. Um, so we've got a myriad of screws here on the back, so I'm gonna shut up and just power through this and uh, slow down where I think we need to. Okay, so this first panel's loose. This back plate's in two different pieces. Let me get that off there. Got one little thermal pad there. And that's about it. Actually, I'm gonna leave that, covering that until we get done here. So I believe that's all of our screws for this panel. Got to remove this one. Got to remove this one. Okay, so we have two screws here on the end as well. So the head size on the screwdriver was fine for that screw, but I couldn't get enough torque on it. So I've got a screwdriver with a bigger handle. So now this is where we're um, going to use our H4 hex head. And we're going to pull these uh, nuts off the back right here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we have to remove these screws as well. Okay, so I think we're done with all of our attachment points. That was a whole hell of a lot of screws. What there's like, dude, there's just a myriad of them over there. You would definitely want to get a bag for this. Okay, so I'm not really sure this should lift off. Obviously, we're gonna have a fan on here that uh, is connected as well. So we need to figure out where that is. Okay, we came loose. Our thermals. There's our fan connection right there. connection over here so you go let's move this out of the way I'm gonna bring you in tight here so you can actually see everything that's down here on the on the board so you can see our thermal pads for our RAM thermal pads for our uh, MOSFETs over here so it's just pretty uh I'm gonna clean all this up carefully. 
So we look like we got really good adherence here. It's a nice looking block. Looks like the seat was really good. Can't complain about that at all. Obviously you'll want to clean all this up. But we're not going to be using this much anymore. I am going to put this back on the card when I get done with the uh, water cooling test because I use this, uh, this 1080 Ti on my test bench and it's easier just to move it around without having to worry about water cooling it. So I'm going to leave all this as is. Obviously I'll replace that Tim. So let's clean this up a little bit. You want to be careful and remove, uh, remove these pads. Just peel off pretty easily. But watch out there. They do have thermal interface material in them. So they'll they'll get uh they'll get nasty really quick if you smear them around. So don't do that. Let's give this a wipe. You want to be careful because there are some surface mount devices on there. Now that we got the majority of that off there, we'll uh, use a little bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol, 99%. That's what I like to look at using on the test bench. Doesn't have any water in it. Burns off really super fast. Again, you got to be careful not to knock any of those surface mount devices off there. Also, when you're going to go back and hit these places here where we had a the Tim on those you want to basically you want to clean off anything that had anything stuck to it right you just want to get all your power surfaces there get your VRMs cleaned off and I mean you can feel it when they're clean or they're not you can come back cleaner RAM There you go, that's all there is to it. Got it broken down. There's our NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti core, all nice and pretty. And uh, we'll follow this up with our water cooler uh, installations. This is Kyle Bennett with HardOCP.com.